Incredible! Bob and Luke left nothing to chance. Hmm. So they're safe. It would be like Bob and Luke Rivera to take a science experiment to a whole new level. Do you remember the time when it took them less than 15 seconds to freeze the water in my mug? Whoa. Huh? Whoa. They're brilliant. Knowing Bob and Luke are okay is certainly a big relief. Relieved isn't even the word for it. But maybe we should tell Hector, Sandra, and the entire team about this amazing discovery. That we think the Rivera brothers are safe and sound. I prepared the plane for you tomorrow, as you instructed, Mr. Gotan. Excellent. I want you on that plane and a full report of your every move. You're not coming on this trip with me? Not this time. Somebody could recognize you. There's no reason why we should both be compromised. If there's nothing else, may I wish you a good night, sir. Hmm. Just one moment, Kurt. Hmm? I've noticed that you haven't been wearing your ID bracelet that's connected to the main hub. Is there a reason for that? Hmm. Can I see that? That's correct, sir. I had a problem with the clasp, so I took it to be repaired. Hmm. Hello, glad you called. It's not possible. Nah, but it is. I can make your fingers stick together without using any glue at all. Wanna bet on it? Come on, Mike. I'd think twice if I were you. This is just another Rivera Brothers experiment. Okay, I accept your bet. All right. Wrap your hands around each other with the fingers touching like this. Uh, okay. Perfect. All right, now. I'll place this little coin between those two fingers. Okay, try to close and open up your thumbs. Are you nuts? They're not stuck together at all. Great, now try to move your pinky and index fingers. No problem at all. You've lost this bet. Now try to move the two fingers that are holding the coin. Go on, try it. Uh, uh, this is crazy! It's like my fingers are stuck! Completely together. Sorry, looks like you lost the bet, Mike. That Rivera magic always works. Good morning, huh? guys. Huh? Hello, Hector. You want to try one of these famous Rivera Brothers experiments? Maybe later, Mike. Chris, uh, Fabri, I need to speak with you. Please, come with me. Huh? I've been thinking about this for some time, Chris. Ever since you told me that someone hacked into your X-Tab, do you think it's possible that these are the same people who kidnapped Bob and Luke Rivera? Yeah, maybe. But there is one thing I still don't understand. How is it possible to hack into an X-Tab? Hmm. In theory, it should be foolproof and impervious to hackers. Indeed. But if we want to find out how they did it, first we need to find out who. Who are the suspects? If an X-Tab is particularly tamper-proof, then the list of suspects would be pretty short, right, Hector? Well, there is the possibility that someone inside Drakers is secretly working for someone else. You mean, someone huh? who might be secretly working for the competition? Like a mole? And I intend to find out who it is. I'm going to ask you not to tell anyone about my suspicions while I work undercover. The Rivera brothers are kidnapped, someone is out to destroy the Drakers, and now my X-Tab has been hacked. These three events can't be just a coincidence. Someone is out to destroy our team and they're doing a pretty good job of covering their tracks. And this key, we still need to figure out what it opens. Nobody outside of the three of us should know anything about this key, got it? We have to keep it between us. Yes, sir. I'll do as he asks. You can be confident I'll give him the message, sir. What is it? As I anticipated, the boss took our embarrassing loss at the Super Trophy of Japan very badly, Jose. I... I did everything I could, Yang, and you know that. I'm well aware of that, Jose. Tony Parker, our spoiled little rich kid, has fallen out of favor with the boss. The same thing goes for Clip Gibbon. We need results and we need them very quickly. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but now it's going to be way more difficult. Especially if we can't hear their next move on the X-Tab. The good news is that no one on our team is suspected of anything yet. The bad news is that either everyone on Team Black Ghost rolls up their sleeves and concentrates on crushing the Drakers, or we all go down with the ship. Why did you bring us here, Mike? Not many people know this, but this was one of Bob and Luke Rivera's favorite places. You mean the media room at the main headquarters? Mm-hmm. Except Bob and Luke Rivera always referred to it as the great treasure chest of memories. The Rivera brothers would spend hours and hours in here, studying past races and the racing styles of the legendary drivers who were the foundation of Team Drakers. I wonder if one day people will ever come here and think of us as great Drakers drivers. Wouldn't that be awesome? I have a feeling we should concentrate on the present. Yeah, you're right. I was kind of hoping to discover the secret place that our key unlocks when Mike called it a treasure chest. You won't believe this, Chris, but we're closer than we could have possibly imagined. I could see it very clearly when the lights were down. This lock emits some kind of pulsating light, which must mean the key responded. Exactly. As unlikely as it seems, this place really is some kind of giant treasure chest. And it's up to us to open it, Fabri. Go ahead, you do the honors and be careful. Bingo. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Huh? It looks like a video editing room. Hmm. It's Sandra. She wants us. We have to do some tests for the Super Trophy of Italy. Bad timing. Right now? Should we? Listen, guys. These practice runs are essential. We need to be firing on all cylinders, Chris and Fabri. Do you agree, John? Absolutely, yes we do. This is home base, and all those Drakers fans will be watching. We have to put on a good show for them. We're not gonna let them down. Don't worry, Sandra. Fabri and I are for sure gonna win this one. Hello, racing fans, and welcome to the Arena Cup circuit, and thanks for breaking attendance records for these Super Trophy of Italy test runs. This brand new racetrack is where we'll be witnessing the final qualifying round. Who moves on? Who stays home? Chris Bravo is at the wheel of the Janets and he's making record time. But there have been a few surprises, most notably for Team Hurricane. Stan Murphy scored the second fastest time right behind Chris Bravo, with Fabri Morelli in third place driving his car, hello. Stan Murphy, the driver for Team Hurricane, is improving with every race and seems intent on giving the home favorites, the Drakers, a hard time. You're just a poor, deluded fool, Nivaldo. As for you, Stan Murphy, you can commit yourself all you want for winning the big race, but you'll never be the best. Nice work out there, boys. First and third place. Hey, Chris, is it true you're going to gamble away the Control Drift X card? The one all those iconic drivers used to use? That's right, Mike. The idea came to me after seeing all that old footage from the Drakers archives. I got to thank you for that, Mike. He what? Yeah, Mike showed us one of the Rivera brothers' favorite places, the so-called treasure chest of memories. I never knew that Bob and Luke Rivera were passionate patrons of the media room, nor that it was their favorite place. That's intriguing. Good work, Mike. Great job, Stan. Of course your car, Kong, was in tip-top shape this time, but you really impressed me out there. You're a good guy, Stan, and one talented driver. Thank you very much, Nivaldo. But without your coaching, I would never have gotten this far. I hope I can keep getting better. 
What a sweet and tender scene. Now if you've finished telling each other how much you love each other, I've got something you need to hear. The improvements you made to my car are second rate. Listen, Ed, the mojito is just fine. If you're nervous about it, then just practice harder. I'm not trying to offend you, coach. I just want the best car I can possibly have, that's all. Are you suggesting that Stan is making better time because I'm giving him a better car? You know that's not true. This is a team sport. And our team's blessed to have two top drivers who should be working together, ready to give their best. There's no letter I in the word team. Listen, you and Stan are clearly my top two drivers. I have confidence in you. We all have confidence in you. If we can all work together, we can make great things happen for this team. Nivaldo is right, Ed. Together, we can become an unstoppable force. What a beautiful day here at the Arena Cup racetrack. We're showcasing a new exciting challenge for the eight drivers in Formula Kids. Who will get to the finish line first in this inaugural round of the Super Trophy of Italy? Chris Bravo of the Drakers qualified for first place. The second position belongs to Stan Murphy of Team Hurricane. Morelli is in third. Behind them in the second row are the two drivers for Team Black Ghost, Cliff Gibbon and Tony Parker. In the third row, we've got Ed Mitchell for the Hurricanes, Lolly Suri for the Tigers, and Kabir Suri also for the Tigers. Hey, look, there's Larry Gotan. Check it out, it's really him. We're very pleased to have a celebrity watching the race with us today, the one and only Larry Gotan. The applause you hear is for the former world champion, an ex-driver, and now the developer of the miraculous x rol the mineral that led to the greatest breakthrough in motorsport history. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Five minutes until the start of the race, and the drivers begin getting prepared. Which one will achieve X-Racer? And which one will win his team that precious commodity, bonus x roll What a spectacle. We never had anything like this in my day. To me, this racetrack is a real gem. You know, it happens to be my favorite. It's the most beautiful and the safest. What about off the track, Sandra? Do you think the back roads around here are exactly like I remember them? Or have they been repaved and turned into star-studded laser-lit gargantuans like this one? They're still the same around here. This is the beautiful Arena Cup, and that mix of innovation and old world charm is a winning combination, don't you think? Your enthusiasm certainly has me convinced. Thank you very much, Miss Logan. Hmm. Activate X Racer! We're the unbeatable Dragers! Contact! Ignition! You've missed the moment. We're riding luck, but I'll try to catch up. Don't worry. Stay focused, Stan. Is everything okay? Maybe there was something a little wrong with Stan's carburetor. I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. He may have started in fifth, but now is the moment everybody will see what Stan is made of. The cars are leaving the main track and entering circuit one of the Arena Cup. What an exceptional view, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just the beginning. These cars will be driving along coastal roads and country lanes until they reach the White Giant, a huge marble quarry known for its hazardous curves. Good job, Tony. Cliff, regain some momentum. The Drakers already have too much of an advantage on you. You gotta give me a little time to catch up, boss. Give and stop monkeying around out there. Just do what you're supposed to do. You're very funny. Stop jerking around. The boss is watching your every move. If you don't hit the target this time, it will be your last race. I have to do it. If I flunk out of Team Black Ghost, my racing career is over. This is your moment, Ed. Get ready to gamble away your first X card. Tony Parker is right there behind Chris Bravo, who is firmly in the lead. Fabry's holding on, but Murphy has gained four tenths of a second on the lead group. Wow, regardless, our boys are doing great. If they keep this up, they're sure to win again. Yes, but we mustn't ever let our guard down. This is a long race, Uncle John. What's going on with the Hurricanes? Did Stan Murphy eat dynamite for breakfast today? Racing fans, 
I have breaking news to report. Stan Murphy has just passed Fabri Morelli. The Drakers won't have it quite so easy this time. Yes. Come on, guys, let's keep up the momentum. Stan's doing great. If he keeps it up, we could be looking at a big win. This is your moment, Ed. Get ready to gamble away your first X card. Okay, Mojito. Want to have a little bit of fun? Laser beams are my idea of fun. All right. Guys, your favorite DJ's in town. Let's spin X Power Card Download Stun. Aubrey and Mitchell wants to knock you out with a stun card. Received. I'll try to keep him at bay. Move over, Morelli. It's not you I want. I can't do it. I can't do it. But we hit one of our own. Oops. What bad luck. Sorry. Attention. Stan Murphy has been involved in a terrible accident. A victim of friendly fire from teammate what? Ed Mitchell. For Stan Murphy and his car, Kong, the race ends here. Sorry, mm. cowboy. Didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, I understand. Don't forget we're a team, Ed. I want you to go on and win this one for me. Of course I will, and in your honor. Now that that nuisance is out of the way, let's show old Nivaldo Gomez who's the real champion driver of Team Hurricane. Remember that at the conclusion of the first round, the winning team will receive bonus x raw along with the latest and most powerful new X-Cards. Still in the lead, Bravo continues to put some distance between himself and his pursuers. Thanks to his clever use of that historic move used by many iconic Drakers drivers, the controlled skid. To maintain control, the driver must immediately turn the wheel straight, or in some cases, slightly counter-steer, so that the tires are aligned to the curb of the road. Then he presses the accelerator. If this maneuver is successful, the result is a progressive advantage in lap time over his opponents. Keep in mind that only the first six drivers to cross the finish line will move on to the second round. The last two drivers will be disqualified from the Super Trophy of Italy. Hey, coach! I want that bonus x raw Gotta use a card! Be very careful. The coastline is narrowing. I know what I'm doing. X-Card Rush, Mega Sprint! Look at Parker's frantic comeback. He's playing an X-Card Rush and is looking to cruise past Chris Bravo. This Black Ghost driver wants to win that bonus x raw at any cost. Parker has activated an X-Card Rush. Counter that maneuver with increased acceleration in five seconds. Settle down, Jenez. I've got a little surprise for him. Sandra, when can you give me the go-ahead? Right now. Go, Chris. X-Card defense. Ball stop. Chris Bravo makes use of the new X-Card defense. Using ball stop, he'll be trying to slow his rival, Tony Parker, <laughs> way down. No! Attack avoided. I wonder if Parker liked the new car. I've had it with you, Bravo. Your days are numbered. And here's the most difficult part of the race. The walls of the White Giant are famous for their dazzling reflections. Unfortunately, that mirror effect can alter the appearance of fixed points in the visual field. Chris, pay close attention to those reflections. Mitchell's passed you and is now in first. Where you going, Chris Bravo? I'm not going anywhere, Ed Mitchell. Truly amazing, Ed Mitchell and Chris Bravo are now battling for first place. He passed me, that rat. Mitchell hasn't given up yet. He still hopes to win this race. Looks like Ed's burning it up. Nivaldo, don't you think he's doing great out there? Yeah, 
Too bad you were doing just as good before the race ended for you a little prematurely. It doesn't matter if I win or if Ed wins. It's the same thing, right? As long as Team Hurricane is on that podium. Am I right, Coach? Under normal circumstances, yes. Ed Mitchell has once again slipped into second place. Here we go. They're heading for the finish line with Chris Bravo out front. Chris Bravo with Janice crosses the finish line first, followed by Fabri Morelli and third, Ed Mitchell. The bonus x raw prize goes to the Drakers. They can count on new x cards that can be used in the next race. You know what, dear Sandra? I think this newfangled Arena Cup racetrack is finally starting to turn my head around. Dear friends, if you're listening to these words, it means that you were able to find our video message. We'd like to explain to you the reason for our disappearance. It all started when my brother Luke and I received confirmation about something that had long been the subject of our research. The x raw field. x raw field? was seen by many as just a legend without any truth to it. But we came to a different conclusion. It turns out it's not just a legend, it really does exist. We were just about to announce our amazing discovery to the world when all of a sudden... A team of men appeared. It was the first day of the round of the Super Trophy of Iceland. They surrounded us and tried to get information about the x raw field. And when we wouldn't tell them what they wanted to know, they threatened us. At that point, with no other way out of the situation, Bob and I then pretended to agree to the terms of our assailant's leader. In the process, we began leaving clues that we had hoped no one but you would discover. These clues would put you on the right track. We tidied up our rooms and left you the word safe, and then the bracelet. We were certain that our X-tabs were being monitored by someone else for quite a long time. These people were just as interested in the legend of the x raw field as we were. You might not believe me, but I can glue your fingers together without actually using glue. I bet I can do it. Want to try? What nonsense. What would a kid like you have to bet with? Oh, I got stuff, but I like that snake bracelet you have on your wrist. And so, after some clever trickery, we managed to lose our kidnappers and made sure to cover our tracks. We made this video message to show you that we're both doing okay, and that we're both still alive. Unfortunately, we can no longer directly communicate with you through our X-tabs. Yeah! We had to turn them off because we believed they were under someone else's control. But when Luke and I finally figure out the precise location of the x raw field, we'll return. And then Luke and I can tell the whole world about our amazing discovery. It'll blow the lid off everything! We know about the phony stories about us in the press, and the damage to Drakers, and we only ask that you not speak to anyone about what you've seen in this video. We have good reason to think that the men who tried to kidnap us work for a real shady guy who's in the racing world, and they're also working for one of the teams competing in Formula World Kids. Gentlemen, I have the honor to present the Lord and Master of Team Black Ghost. He ranks number one among our team leaders, and is the essence of the Black Ghost. He is the person all of us, including myself, report to. Someone who until now, for understandable reasons, has chosen not to disclose his identity. But from now on, and until the end of time, he will assert his mighty power. Colleagues, gentlemen, he wanted to meet you, and he wanted to do it tonight. What a great honor, and a thrill for each one of you. Larry Goton, the former driver. But he's the corporate head of Alchemist Incorporated, the multinational company that developed x -Rawl. Is this some kind of a big joke? I don't think so. Apparently, the mysterious occult master of Team Black Ghost finally has a proper name, and that name is Larry Goton. Sit down, my faithful subjects. For some of you, this will be a very, very long night. 